Hey folks, Quilly Dean here with a kind of a rare news announcement on the channel. Um, out of seemingly nowhere, an expansion just dropped today for Titan Quest. Titan Quest Ragnarok. As far as I can tell, there was basically no news about it online uh, before today. Um, I'm on like all the PR mailing lists and everything like that. I didn't get an email until about 45 minutes before I recorded this video here. No idea what was coming. I love Titan Quest. At this point, Titan Quest is a game that's like 10 years old. Um, and it's an action RPG. It's very, if you're into Diablo, if you're into Path of Exile, anything like that, Titan Quest is kind of a must play. They came out with the anniversary edition of Titan Quest not that long ago which improves some of the performance, uh, fixes a lot of old, uh, outstanding sort of little bugs and balance issues and things like that. Really made the game, uh, pretty sweet. Still has got a great multiplayer community, uh, not very expensive to buy these days. Titan Quest is great. Um, the Anniversary Edition, I don't know if it came with Immortal Throne or not, which was an expansion, but Ragnarok! came out. This adds a fifth act to the game. It adds a tenth mastery. One of the things, if you haven't played Titan Quest before, that's amazing, is that you basically build your own class. So I'm going to create a character here. There's an option here for an accomplished hero. This starts you off at level 40 at the start of the um, fifth act. However, um, if, you, uh, if you don't already have uh, equipment in your stash or something like that, it's not going to be as playable. Like, it's a nice little shortcut, but they really mean, like, if you've already got something going on. There's a brilliant little cutscene over here. Love the, uh, the animation. Love the character art, actually. The, uh, the face on this character is interesting. Stands out from a lot of other things. Good armor for the North. Um, it's just, like, a fantastic little, like, opening scene to this that I think is kind of badass. Not the greatest blood animation, perhaps, but everything else about this is pretty cool! So, we're just going to skip the rest of that. You can see it on your own, or you can just see the trailer um, on the interwebs if you want. Again, it's pretty short. She's just going around killing, like, demon wolves, basically. And we're going to start off here in the fifth act. So, um, you know, you can get your quest advance, your plot advancements, and whatever. So, this is the town over here in Titan Quest. Um, I still think the game looks perfectly swell. Certainly, it's, you know, a little dated compared to some other things, uh, but it's perfectly season uh, serviceable. One of the things Titan Quest doesn't have that most other action RPGs like Diablo and Path of Exile have is the levels are not randomly generated. They are fixed, um, which means, you know, then you're getting the same physical play experience every time you go through, but there's still a lot of um, repetition value, especially given the fact that... This skill mastery system is awesome. So basically, you don't pick a class when you make your character, as you just noticed. Um, instead, when you um, when you play, you get to unlock two masteries, and the two of them put together uh, are effectively your class. Each mastery has a huge variety of skills. The expansion here adds the runes um, mastery. The previous expansion, Mortal Thrones, added the dream one over here. So the runes mastery is interesting. There's um, and just like every other mastery. Uh, there's like a lot of different ways to build just this one mastery. So two people with the rune mastery will end up feeling quite different from one another, uh, especially depending on what they select as their second mastery over here. So we've got the rune weapon um, skill over here that is, you know, it's sort of a left mouse button. Like it's your auto kind of attack skill that adds um, a bunch more elemental damage, more damage. Also gives you bonus intelligence, which is interesting because it doesn't specify melee. So presumably this will work with range. Um, I don't know what the interaction with stabs would be. That might also be quite good. So we add more elemental damage, more elemental retaliation as well. Here we get a bunch of leech attack damage converted to health, which sounds great. Transmutation converts your weapon damage to elemental. Actually, if you max it out, um, which we can do by doing this, 63% of your weapon damage become elemental, which might be interesting for bypassing resistances and things like that. And sort of builds up to this whole sort of like, I guess it's int-based melee or range or something of that nature, which is cool. There's also Thunderstrike over here, which does splash damage lightning, which is cool. You've also got a variety of runes that you can spam down on the ground, like the... Um, the Seal of Fate, we can actually cast a few of these. Um, the Runic Mines, there's the Menhir Wall over here, and we've also got the Rune of Life here, which lasts for 10 minutes and gives a boost to movement speed, strength, uh, bleed resistance, vitality damage resistance, I don't know. It might be worth getting one rank because you get the 10% movement speed right away. Anything more than that, I'm not sure, but you know, and then there's like, so the upgrades to these various forms. So this would be the Guardian Stones, which is actually a completely different ability, actually, than the Men Here Wall. It's not just an upgrade, which is kind of interesting. Energy Armor over here. We've got a bunch of passives over here. Rune Words Explode. Weapons inscribed with this powerful rune may cause a successful hit to blast outward, strike multiple enemy. So you can just put this to max here. Now, of a sudden, each of your 
um, attacks has a 20% chance to cause an explosion, uh, which sounds pretty good. And then we can go and add even more damage on that. So cool little like sort of melee things there. And again, yeah, you can combo with whatever. So maybe you go runes plus dream. So we'll grab that as a mastery. And in theory on our character sheet, I think that's our, the class names. The class names are, are well, not dynamically general, but it, depending on what combo of masteries you have, it, it names your uh, class. So I think that's us, the, the satyr worker, whatever that means. Um, if we go and assign, say, runic mines. Okay, oh, which is surrounds yourself, that's right. And then they trigger when they, if the enemies step on them. Seal of fate, I think that's the self buff. Or no. Oh, this will charge up and then explode. Bam. Kind of a slow detonation, but probably a lot of power. It's also got a stun in there. So yeah, three second duration. So it might be a little tricky to use, but that'd be interesting. We got the men here wall. There you go. So just defensive wall kind of structure. Big cooldown on that. Does it do anything else? Um, lifetime health. Oh, distract blocks and distracts enemies. So it may um, it may actually taunt them. And it's also got a 25% chance of stunning people for a second, which is interesting. Then we've got the guardian stones over here. Separate cooldown. Oh, they're centered around you. Magically lash out any hostiles entering their sacred ground. That sounds fun. Um, and yeah, there we go. And then there's the rune of life, which you cast on yourself to get a movement speed and strength buff. Or you can cast it on someone else as well. Um, it's not a reserve spell. Um, so you do have to remember to recast it every 10 minutes. But other than that, you can cast it on everyone in your party, and that's kind of nifty. So again, if you do stay, take the advanced start, the experience start, you don't start with any gear. And I don't actually have anything in my stash in uh, the Anniversary Edition over here. So um, I would not actually be able to start with a character as is. But... Very excited for new content. Any excuse really to play Titan Quest, I'm super pumped about. So if you've played Titan Quest before, you might be shocked to hear that this expansion just came out. Um, and in addition to that, if you've never played Titan Quest, um, it's a great game. You should really check it out. It's fun, and it's usually really, really cheap. Um, I have mine on Steam. I think you can find it all over the place, probably GOG and all kinds of different places. So um, probably tomorrow after I record this, so Saturday, November the 18th, I think I'm going to be streaming some Titan Quest. Uh, we, I might go and just play on my own today to uh, uh, see if I can get some gear going um, for uh, the level 40 start. I do have some extra characters. Um, I actually might have some um, Anniversary Edition characters in here. Some things might have been imported from my previous game. I'm not sure. It's possible that just my stash is empty, but I might have... No, no. <laughs> I only have one character that I barely started at level 2 in the Anniversary Edition, so I definitely have no uh, gear whatsoever. So I'll see what I can do uh, so that we can see the new content maybe as much as possible tomorrow when I stream, but uh, that's probably what's going to happen. Thanks for watching! See you next time!